Hello everybody. So I am doing a process video today and this is a guest design team for the SNL um, design team. Carla got a hold of me and asked me if I would do a surprise um, design team video with her. So um, we decided to do washi tape and so those are the washi tapes that I picked out. Um, I only choose one of them. Um, I chose that one washi tape with the uh, gold um, triangles because I wanted some gold and I don't have a lot of gold embellishments. The photo that I'm going to be um, scrapping is a photo of my daughter last year, about this time last year, and I'd taken her out to the beach and I did do a um, filter on that and I just thought it was really, really pretty and it reminded me kind of a, a very angelic photo. So I wanted the photo to mainly have golds and whites. Um, just kind of, you know, make it look heavenly. And so um, it was really difficult for me to try to figure out what kinds of colors I wanted to pull in with the gold. And um, I went through the, I believe it was Coral, the Coral Couture 12 by 12 um, set that I have. And that is um, some of the colors that I ended up pulling in. And you'll see those as, as I go on. So I decided to use a plain white background for this. Um, I mainly wanted the colors to be gold and white. And so I pulled out every single gold embellishment that I have. And um, I'm going to use this washi tape as a background, um, kind of like a, a mat for my photo. I, like I said, I don't have a lot of gold um, embellishments or gold papers, and so I thought that this would be an absolutely perfect way to incorporate um, gold into my layout. And I don't use washi very often, so it was a it was a really nice challenge. And I had just purchased this washi through um, Scraptastic when I did my regular monthly order, and so I don't know how many pieces I ended up using. I just kept kind of going down the layout. Um, until I had enough to kind of map the photo. And I love the way that this turned out. You can't really see um, the seams between the, between the washi. It just looks like a really fun kind of gold background. So that is the Coral Couture that I picked out. And I picked that because it did have some gold in it. And the colors on this were absolutely perfect. It's kind of a, a coral <laughs> and um, kind of a tealish blue which really brought out the sky and so I picked some of that striped paper and that's oh um, that's what I ended up using for my kind of like big large photo corners so I didn't have a lot of um, embellishments that would match the coral and the blue and so I pulled out a few things but um, I don't end up using any of them so here I am using my envelope punch and I am making my own homemade bow and there is tutorials on YouTube on how to do this. Just look up um, bow with um, em envelope punch and you should find plenty of tutorials on that. If for some reason you can't, um, let me know and I will do a tutorial on that. Um, I love the way that they turn out. They, they turn out just like the bows that you purchase, um, you know, for $5 a pack. So, um, I'm just going to go ahead and create that. And um, a lot of the colored embellishments that I picked out for this just didn't work on the layout. So this bow is going to be pretty much the only colored embellishment other than the golds that I picked out. And I put the um, glue dot on the wrong side, so I'm just switching that around. I'm using a lot of techniques that I've kind of been watching other people do, like with coloring the staples. So I decided to go ahead and staple the center of this bow and I'm going to use, that's kind of like a, I think it's a Krylon, um, it's just a dual tip gold marker. It's by EK Success. I believe I got it from Michaels or Walmart. I'm not sure. It was really cheap. And I'm just going to go ahead and color the staples and then I'm going to put them back in the stapler. And that way when I staple um, some of the sparkly ribbon to the center of the bow, you won't even be able to see the staple. It just turned out great. I love that. What am I doing next? Oh, but here I'm looking for some embellishments. I I picked some of these from um, leftovers from my Scraptastic kit, 
And some of the colors really matched the blues, but it just, it wasn't working. I had too many different embellishments on two different, too many different areas. And I, I mainly wanted to kind of um, stick with the three embellishment areas just because there wasn't so much room on this layout. And I really wanted that gold washi to be um, one of the main elements in the center of my layout. So I'm going to go ahead and stick down those corners. Now I did cut that white paper down to 11 and 3 quarters by 11 and 3 quarters and that's because I'm going to go ahead and mat and I already know that I'm going to do this. Um, I'm going to mat a kind of a peachy coral paper that I had left over from Scraptastic that matched perfectly with this. So I'm, I left that at 12 by 12, but I'm not going to do that yet because I wasn't sure if I was going to um, need to cut anything off the ends, if I was going to have anything coming off the paper. And so I had one of these gold doilies left over. I went ahead and put that behind the photo. The little gold hello that came from Monica, who is um, oh my goodness. I'm sorry, Monica. I don't remember your YouTube name. Um, she had sent me some die cuts and so, um, I used that. And I really wanted to use that flare that was from Studio Calico and it says fly and I just thought it was really pretty. Um, it doesn't end up making it on the layout. And that little banner that I'm kind of moving around not the two solid gold banners, but the it, kind of like a little phrase. It says fun in the sunshine and I thought it was absolutely perfect because we were down at the beach. So I'm going to go ahead and glue that hello down. And I just like to use Tombow Mono just because it's easy to, to glue down really delicate items. Just put a few dots and it's down. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and tape down my little banners. Those also came from Monica. Why can't I remember your YouTube name? <sighs> and I'm going to go ahead and glue that bow down. I wanted to use kind of a stronger adhesive, so use glossy accents for that, just because it's a more dimensional um, embellishment, and I wanted to make sure, cause in case it was heavier. So I took some of these wood veneer hearts that I had. I believe they're from Studio Calico. I'm adding glossy accents to them and um, because I didn't have any gold stickles I ran out at Christmas time and I haven't replenished. I'm going to go ahead and use loose gold glitter which I absolutely hate <laughs> loose glitter but um, it works perfectly for the project that I'm using or the project that I'm doing. So I'm going to go ahead and add that so that I have kind of a dimensional um, glittery hearts. I had to get really creative with the embellishments with this because I really wanted to use that gold. So here is that coral um, paper from Scraptastic and I'm cutting out the center because I wasn't sure if I was going to need any of that paper for any of the embellishments and that's kind of a hard color to match. So um, when I cut out the center like that I go on the inside of the square and then on the outside of the top layer, that way it's nice and glued down. And see, it just left kind of a nice little border <clears throat> and it matches perfectly. I absolutely loved that. So I didn't wait very long for these glittery hearts to um, dry. And so I have to be very careful with them. And I'm using my tweezers to glue them down. And that was like a little half scalloped circle and so I added it to the top because it mat or it, it fit perfectly above those banners and it kind of made it look like a nice little embellishment on the top and that's going to be it. I'm going to leave it just as is. It's perfect. It's easy. It was simple and it only took me 38 minutes to do. Here are the still shots and thanks so much for watching and thanks Carla for having me as a guest designer. Bye!